fight was rigged, yo. It was staged. Who remembered my post that I posted last night? Let me go to it. Let me read it real quick. What did I say last night? This was before I had passed out and went to sleep. I didn't get to see the fight because I was tired. Tyson can win if he doesn't throw the fight for a money grab, in my opinion. Just saying. That was 19 hours ago. And the video you see there was seven months ago because I thought I thought he was going to win. I thought, you know, he was going to win it. I thought he was going to win it. But as months went on and all the, you know, headlines and this is going on, that's going on, I started to have doubt. And I started to feel like, is he going to throw this fight? Because I was talking to a co-worker and I was telling him, I think he's doing this for a money grab. I think he's hurting with the money. And then I just remembered today. Remember, not too long ago, Mike Tyson got into it with a dude on the airplane. I see everybody covering this story, but they're not talking about this right here. I just thought about it today. Remember, Mike Tyson got into it with some dude that was antagonizing him. And allegedly, he put the paws on fam. A man repeatedly punched by Mike Tyson in a viral video taken on a JetBlue flight is suing the former heavyweight champ two years after the incident. Being that I'm pressed for time, I can't read the entire article, so we're going to leave that in the description box. But yeah, he's had situations like that. Now, I don't know if he paid the man off or not. But I'm sure it's in this article, and if it's not, just do your research. But you know that he did go through this, and he did get sued, right? You're correct on that, right? Okay. Now, my apologies about the Kim Porter book situation. I thought that was legit. It wasn't. My bad. But we do know that it was. It was in the works that she was going to write a book. And it's too many sources to put in here. Do your research. We know that for a fact. And she did have domestic violent issues with Diddy. Because where she used to stay, her neighbors said that they would hear noises of them arguing and fighting. I don't feel like getting into all that. That's a whole nother topic. Let's continue. For all you know-it-alls. He became nauseous and dizzy due to an ulcer flare-up 30 minutes before landing well, this was in May 27, 2024. See, he was having a lot of health issues. It says mid-flight medical issue. So I thought, I was led to believe the fight wasn't even going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I thought... Because I remember the fight was supposed to happen in the summer or something. You know, there was talks about it. Rumblings about it. Whispers. And they pushed it to December. Which... That's why I was surprised when somebody was on uh, social media saying, yeah, his fight's tomorrow. I'm like, tomorrow? Huh? And rewind. In the summertime, I was talking to a co-worker, like I said. And I was telling this, this gentleman... I believe he's gonna throw it. I, I told him, I believe this is a money grab. I think Mike Tyson might be hurt financially wise. Yeah, that brother's starving. Yes, sir, brother. <laughs> Allegedly, but I said this in the summer. You know what I mean? So, and then that post I just posted last night. Yeah, man, I had a feeling this was gonna happen. At first, I wanted to believe Mike Tyson was going to go through with it. You know, then he popped up in, you know, in Brooklyn. What was it? Brooklyn, Harlem. He was in New York with um, Shannon Briggs and all that. And I was like, okay. They're coming back to the hood. But at the same time, man, this could be a humiliation ritual. I mean, we know the world they play in. I wonder, Donnie. Is Jake Paul an apprentice? Did Mike Tyson just pass the torch? Is Jake Paul about to move up the ranks?
ranks to a higher level in the industry. Hmm. That's why we can't really look at, you know, entertainment the same way everybody else does. Like I said, you could like somebody for their gifts, but we not to, to praise them and to show them so much love that we put them over everybody. You know, now we don't do that. You know what I'm saying? So if I like something 50 cents did or said and I laugh about it, that's me. I'm not being a hypocrite. You don't see me going to all his concerts, buying all his stuff. Maybe I like something that he did. I don't see why that's a problem. And, and technically, anybody coming to this channel with your, with your negative comments, you can just get off this channel and never return. You know what I mean? I made a video on 50 Cent. You don't like it. That's not my problem. You are goofy in my book. Because why are you worried about what I'm doing? And you, you know, especially if you ain't subscribed and you commenting or you got your little critics or whatever. Or you a content creator, whoever. Why is you checking for me? That's what I don't understand. Like a lot of these people, I don't know, man. Y'all people on the internet is just weird. I don't know what this girl talking about. Somebody hit me up. Anyway, uh, I'm about to end this video. That Man, that was rare, bro. Who can't see that? I didn't get to see the fight. I saw, you know, clips. People talking about it. Um, that's crazy because um, I believe it's on YouTube now, and I was about to watch it, but I was I, I was just tired, man. Plus, I just wasn't up for it. Oh boy, I'm glad I ain't bet on that. I'm glad I'm not a betting person. You know what I'm saying? And then one of my um, this person I was. And then this person I was talking to was telling me that he was thinking about going out there. I'm like, man, I'm glad I didn't go. <laughs> I don't think he went, but then the tickets was like seventy or eighty dollars. That's pretty cheap for a fight like this. Did they know that? <laughs> Did they know that this fight was gonna go the way it went? You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about the promoters, things that make you go, hmm. Why them tickets were so cheap? And it was on Netflix. It wasn't on pay-per-view or nothing. It's like... I don't know, man. Bread and circuses. Are you not entertained? <laughs> but not for nothing. People saying that... Jake Paul... Could have definitely dropped Tyson. He wasn't in his best shape. And I remember um, somebody was saying that uh, Roy Jones Jr. Was saying that he could tell that Tyson wasn't prepared for this fight. Because he could tell by his legs. Because you know when it comes to throwing a jab. You got to put your, your leg into it. And turn. You know what I'm saying? Because the power comes from in your leg when you throw that jab. And um, that's why you shouldn't have chicken noodle legs trying to throw hands with somebody. You're going to get molly walked out here. You're going to get thrashed. You're going to get washed. Somebody going to beat the brakes off you. You know what I mean? And ain't going to be no referee. Especially if it's in the streets. But uh, it's saying that Jake Paul took a light on him. And they said he could have took advantage of him. So, if that's the case, then I go to show you that Jake Paul respects Tyson, even though, I mean, I did see the one where Tyson slapped on me. I saw that. And I'm just like, yo, who don't see the theatrics in all this? Come on, man. I mean, who was actually, I mean, who actually was rooting for Jake Paul anyway? I didn't like homie because how he came out of nowhere wanting to challenge Mike Tyson. Meanwhile, when you get into professional boxing, you're supposed to start at the bottom and work your way up. He just skyrocketed straight up to Tyson. Like that, the arrogance. He don't even have love for the sport. Or the profession alone, even though that's a dark world, but you know, 
It just go to show you the arrogance. Now I wonder if he's gonna let this go to his head now. That he don't beat the heavyweight champ of the world, whatever. And dude is a YouTuber. So that's a game changer for him. And I was telling, you know, this coworker in the past that a lot of people are gonna be sad that Tyson is, is the heavyweight, he's like the people's champ, and they're gonna be very angry. This is gonna be like some racial thing, and they're gonna be mad at Jake Paul while he's happy that he won and he's feeling himself. And I wouldn't want that kind of fame. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're famous now because you defeated the heavyweight champ. So now you're gonna have all them people because he's more famous. Well, now it's probably like even playing fields, but they all loved him. And now they all looking at you now because they didn't know, nobody knew who Jay Paul was, even though he was major on YouTube. I didn't really know about him till as of recently. I'm like, why would you want that kind of attention? Yeah, I love to stay hidden. I do. I love that everybody don't know about me. I love when y'all go ask, yo, you heard of this guy? You heard of so-and-so? And they be like, nope, you don't know how much I love that. You might look at that as a failure or a fail. Do they still say epic fail? Or a loss or he's a loser. Cool with me, bro. You can hide a world. I don't even want it. One time I did. Not no more. Long as you know about me, I'm good. I'd rather stay hidden. I ain't in no hurry for the whole world to catch up. You know what I'm saying? A few moments later. How dare you not hit that like button after all this I did for you? Guess you really don't rock with me like that, huh? Well, time is money, baby. And I could be doing something else.